people, welcome back to another video. So, Joseph Parker defeats Sile Zhang via a majority decision with scores of 115, 111, 114, 112, and 113, 113. I had it 115, 111 for Parker. I thought he won nine rounds. I gave Zhang the two rounds, obviously, where he knocked down Parker. And I gave Zhang the seventh, but other than that, I thought Parker dominated it quite well. Um, I thought the the knockdown in the third round, Parker just got caught with a clean, well-timed straight left, which put him down. I mean, Zhang has got power, we know that, so he got caught there, but he never really looked like he was on the verge of getting stopped. And again, in the eighth round, he got caught with a right hook on the side of the head, which scrambled his senses, but he never seemed to hurt there either. I thought he was always in control. Um, obviously, Zhang is a big puncher, so he can put anyone down at any time. But uh, I thought Parker boxed well. I thought he moved his head well. Um, he used good lateral movement, and uh, he was a difficult target for Zhang to hit. But also, I do feel as if Zhang was just looking for that perfect shot all night. And because of Parker's movement, it was just so hard for Zhang to get that perfect shot off. And you've got to give Parker credit for that. That's the second time he's been the underdog in Saudi Arabia. Um, obviously against Wilder, Wilder hardly threw a punch against Parker and again Zhang's not through much either so um, I think that's down to Parker and the game plan from Andy Lee moving well and boxing, sticking to the game plan, doing the basics right, getting that jab out and uh, landing that straight right hand as well. I mean he couldn't miss every time Parker threw that right hand so uh, good performance from Joe. I mean he's on a great run of form now and you look at his resume He's beat Zhang and Wilder in his last two fights. He's fought AJ, he's fought Dillian White, he's fought Andy Ruiz Jr., Del Boy twice, Huey Fury. And that's just a few. I mean, he's mixed it at a good level, uh, Parker, and uh, he's clearly not scared of fighting anyone. I'm sure he would fight Fury as well. I know they're good mates, um, but he did say in an interview after that, if that fight got called as a mandatory, he would take it. So um, I believe him. I think, you know, it would be a case of, look, this is business. And um, yeah, I believe he would fight Usyk as well. No problem. He's clearly not scared of any challenge. Um, I would love to see Parker against Daniel Dubois. To be honest, I think that's a good fight. Um, I know there was a rematch clause for the Zhang fight. Zhang was the interim heavyweight champion for the WBO. So that rematch will happen, I'm sure. But uh, I think the rematch goes the same, to be honest. I just think Parker's got Zhang's number. And I think the fact that Zhang dropped Parker twice and couldn't finish him, to me, suggests that I think Parker would recover again, even if Zhang hurt him. But um, yeah, good win for Parker. And like I say, it was a good fight. It did have its moments. It didn't catch fire as much as I thought it would, to be honest. But um, it certainly wasn't a stinker. Um, as for the Zhang Meister, I think he needs to spend less time in the bedroom and more time in the gym because his stamina is terrible. I mean, you'd think with all the orgies he's been having that he'd have really good stamina, but he just didn't do anything. I mean, he obviously got the two knockdowns, but he didn't jump on Parker. In the last round, he didn't land a single punch. And I think he got too cocky. At the end of the third round, he was celebrating like he'd won the fight when he hadn't, and he just didn't do enough, Zhang. And he's good, this is the thing. He's got fast hands, he does have slow feet, but he can take a punch. He's got dynamite in both hands. Um, so he's got good attributes, but uh, I think he definitely has to improve for the rematch and he's got to improve his gas tank and up his punch output. But um, I love Zhang anyway, whatever he um, decides to do, um, whether he does change anything or not for the rematch, good luck to him. He can have all the orgies in the world he wants. I'm rooting for him. I just love looking at his face, to be honest. He makes me smile. So, uh, yeah, big up the Zhang Meister. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.